Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for everything innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I bring on a guest that I had on in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him right on back. Uh, today's guest is Deborah Feinberg, who is Vice President of Marketing over at Human Longevity. Debbie, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Adam. It's great to be here. Oh, my gosh. So I'm so excited to learn more about um, what you're doing over at um, over at Human Longevity. I know you have a good story around um, how, how you kind of ended up there. Um, let, you know, let's just kick it off. Let's start there. So tell us a little bit more about Human Longevity and what attracted you there. Certainly. Well, you know, the first thing is I've always been a connector and a relationship person. You know, I've never been very transactional in any sales and marketing and so I was really thrilled when I got an opportunity to join uh, Human Longevity through someone that I'd worked with in the past. And I, always saw, I also also believe that if you're open to new opportunities, they fall into your lap. Um, and this is what happened with me with Human Longevity. Um, and I was really excited because it is very cutting edge and future oriented for what the future of healthcare is going to be. Oh man, that's exciting, and uh, and and I know that about you that you uh, you keep you keep close relationships, uh, professional relationships, and uh, and it, it's no surprise to me. So some of the people <laughs> listening are are saying they're like, wait a minute, it just falls in your lap. What you talk? They it falls into your lap if you're Debbie because you live your life that way. If you're not living your life that way, it might not just fall in your lap. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> so. Well, you know, you know, it's it's always a happenstance. This convergence of things, and you know, it's it's both your attitude and the opportunities and making sure that they all come together. And so I've never been one to say no to meeting new people. I think we talked earlier, you know, last year, that my family and friends say I could be dropped on Mars and meet a friend. And I just... <laughs> I you want to discover it's... Martian and Debbie. <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, that's been a mantra of mine, and it really enriches my life because the more you listen to other people's stories and where they're going with their lives and their businesses, the more interesting and involved you are because you're going to learn a lot more by listening than talking. Love it. Um, and now, well, now you got me all excited. So tell me about this company, Human Longevity. What are you up to? Well, Human Longevity was founded by uh, J. Craig Venter, who was the first person to sequence the whole human genome. And um, the way I like to introduce the, the, what we're doing now for consumers is, you know, we can all sort of think in the back of our mind of someone that we knew who we loved and cared about who suddenly got this diagnosis that was a death sentence. And why is that? I mean, I'm sure, unfortunately, I could ask you that. I know for me personally... My father, many years ago at a very young age, died of a heart attack. And mm. if he had access to this type of um, assessment, which I'll explain in a minute, that mm -hmm. might have not happened. But our current state of health care, unfortunately, is very symptom-based. And mm -hmm. once you get a symptom, it's usually a little later where you have to have chemotherapy with cancer or an invasive surgery with something else or a stent placement. And what we're trying to do is catch that you know, earlier pre-symptomatic and treat the risk, not the disease. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. So it's, uh, it, I mean, it's really the ultimate in preventive medicine is what I'm hearing. Absolutely. If you can, if you can get ahead of the... Mm -hmm. Yes, it's precision medicine, and we do it through four modalities, basically, or ways to diagnose. One is um, genetics. Now, that's something you're born with. It's never a death sentence, but it's certainly part of what your what your body is. The second is um, whole body imaging, so that's through an MRI, brain, body, and cardiac. The third are blood biomarkers, and then we do some cognitive work to see uh, neurocognitive, to see how things are meshing together. What's, what's happening with the whole field is this convergence of AI and machine learning, and while we're not 100% there yet, the fact that you can combine these um, assessments and these measures from these various components and then understand what they might be in combination 
And there's been some great research in terms of neurocognitive issues, and there will be more in diabetes and cardiovascular. That's what's so exciting about being with this company. Mm. And what we like to say, Adam, is you have to measure what matters. We measure everything from our golf swing to our, our financial portfolio to our home temperature, right, and everything in between. We really need to start measuring our, our um, health more so that we can extend the human lifespan that in those good middle years and then make sure that we can live a full and productive life so we can contribute back to our business, our family, our community, and have that kind of um, vibrant lifestyle with high performance. So, Deborah uh, or Debbie, um, I, I just have to say one thing, though. I, I heard the measure what matters. I'm the matters guy. You guys can't take my, my word. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the matters guy. Right, my, right. My, little, my, my, little, my little, like, in the back of my head, I had that little thing. I was like, wait a minute, matters? Wait, I, uh, no. <laughs> you joking, and but... there, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I love I love what you're doing though. I mean, between um, whole body imagery, I just want to make sure I have them right. Whole body imagery, um, blood biomarkers, and then um, and genetics. So between those three yeah. basic components, um, you're really able to do something and accomplish something. Um, and I love that you bring up AI also. So you add that to the mix, and it gets really interesting for what can even happen next, in my opinion. So that being said, now you have this unique um, vantage point with this amazing company. Um, what excites you about 2020 and uh, going with and, and uh, being with Human Longevity? Well, I think with 2020, the company had evolved from a research-based company to more of a consumer-based company. We were actually um, selling the service. Right now, it's for high end consumers because it doesn't isn't covered by insurance. Mm-hmm. Um, but our goal is to democratize it. And the the other thing that we like to communicate and what we feel will happen this year is if you think about heads of state or presidents, for example, they all live to their mid nineties pretty much, right? And so why is that? It's really because of three pillars that we're trying to discuss with our uh, audiences. One is this data. You want to get as much data as possible about your health to see if you need to reduce fat, change your diet, increase exercise, make sure your muscle mass and and body fat and internal fat called visceral fat is is okay. Mm -hmm. Then if you you also want access to the best medical uh, physicians, just like our presidents do. I mean, they've got their physician and our chairman likes to say you don't want that physician doesn't want that president to die on their watch right so they can right, make yeah. sure they're doing well and then if there is something that you see early stage and if you see a very small spot on a liver or something going on with the heart you want to be able to have that referral to the best med- medical doctors in the world and we can do that for our consumers right now and so that's really where we're going in 2020 is to make sure that you have Um, this access on these three pillars so that you can continue, as I said earlier, to make sure that you're living a productive, uh, healthy, high-performance, optimized life and be able to contribute back to your family and community and business. Man, that is so exciting. I love it. Um, I I went through the. Yeah, I went through the the, the, um, assessment, and it's very, very interesting, calming, professional Mm -hmm. obviously i mean you you, you say that of course but it really gives you peace of mind so Mm -hmm. do i have some areas of health that i should work on absolutely i know what i need to work on i need to work on i got a little visceral fat over here that i gotta (laughs) like i already know what i need to work on as soon as you said it i'm like oh where's my trainer oh yeah yeah yeah, (laughs) i just want to be a podcaster i'm like i don't want to work on it (laughs) but on the other hand what's so great is you also get peace of mind and you say you know for the bigger pictures and i'll go back next Mm -hmm. year and see how are my markers doing? You know, I'm fortunate. Mm-hmm. I've got access to great health care. But this mm-hmm. augments it. And so what I'm able to do is share this with my physicians. And if I That's don't awesome. have a physician, we could access patients to our physicians, medical doctors, mm-hmm. geneticists, et cetera. 
And it's exciting because I know that originally this was only, like you mentioned, the presidents and basically a president. And like, and I remember there was a, this whole executive um, health care type of, let's just say, tranche of people out there that, you know, executive health care that might have been part of their packages or something else like that. Mm-hmm. And these, you know, pretty robust packages. But it's really exciting to me that. Um, you know, this will be something that as techno- every, as everything evolves, right, AI, everything changes, um, it will, um, you know, prices, everything will change to where at some point this could be just the norm. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing if this was the norm and if people just did this? Like that is nor- so cool. as they're normal, like you, 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 you wake your, your kids are growing up and you, they get their, their shots or whatever else they have to do. I don't, I don't have kids, so can't really talk on that one, but you have to do whatever you have to do to make sure that they live. <laughs> when you do that, right. then, um, this is just part of it. You just add right. all of that to it. Oh, it's amazing. Right. Love Absolutely. It. And that's what, that's what our goal is. And that's why I took the position because how often do you get to be part of, a growing, innovative, cutting-edge opportunity. And I figured, you know, this is is a great chance to learn and to grow with a company and uh, see where everything heads us. But, you know, as a lot of books are out, including this latest Pierre de Montes book, The Future is Faster Than You Think, you can imagine how things will be in the next 5, 10, 20 years. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Well, hey, Debbie, um, if somebody – I'm going to have to go down there. You're, you're, in, you're in San Diego. I'm not too yeah. far. I'm going to have to go down there and get one of these things done because uh, I need to figure I, I need to figure my life out, too. I love it. But um, that being said, if somebody's listening to this and uh, they want to learn more about human longevity, what's the best way for them to do it? I think the best way is to contact me directly, and that's D. Feinberg, F is in Frank, E-I-N-B-E-R-G, at humanlongevity.com. But certainly you can go to humanlongevity.com or our clinic name, which is healthnucleus.com, and fill out a contact information, and we'll be happy to get back to you. And you too, Adam. I'll I'll follow up separately with you. (laughs) Awesome. And uh, so for everybody listening, you heard it first on Mission Matters Innovation to measure what matters. I had to throw out the I had to throw out the matters again. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. No, but seriously, really happy about what you're doing there and that you made all um, and that you you got a great um, thing going on for you. So thank you for that. Thank you for all the good work you're going to do at Human Longevity. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store. If you're uh, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Innovation, then definitely uh, give us a subscribe. But more importantly, leave us some notes in the in, on the video. Love to hear your thought process on, on on what we talked about today and on the future of uh, precision medicine, which is a new term I learned. And thank you again for Debbie for that. Um, and Debbie, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you. Great talking to you again. Have a great day.